Hello everybody, welcome to the Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to uh, create a password generator so I can set my own length of, for my password and I can also determine the number of uh, alphanumeric characters and symbols by myself. And in my um, password setting, I can check if the number of uh, alphanumeric characters and the symbols are valid or not, which means that if the uh, sum of the alphanumeric and uh, characters and symbols are beyond the password length, I will have a warning, or I have to reset all the um, number of uh, alphanumeric characters and symbols. Let us see how we can achieve the um, password generator. Uh, a password generator requires us to uh, pick up some characters randomly, so I have to import a random module. And my intention is like this. I want to uh, get the number of characters from the user input, so I can do something like this. I will want to do a loop, which is an infinite loop, to is Accept uh, 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 some uh, conditions are met. So I'm going to get the total number of characters you need in your password. Also, the number of um, uppercase letters. Same for the lowercase letters. I also allowed digits to be put in my password, so I have to uh, un un know how many digits are required in your password. Also, I can allow symbols. Okay, uh, in principle, the uh, sum of these four numbers should be a uh, less than or equal to the number of characters otherwise um, the password settings should fail so I have to check this condition if uh, these four numbers are uh, not adding together the, to have a value that is smaller than or equal to the number of characters I will require the user to enter the uh, number of characters a number of uppercase low lowercase letters, number of digits, and number of symbols again so to make the um, password valid. This is the checking. If the number of characters is smaller than the sum of these four uh, values, I will print a warning. So 
So in this case, I have to let the uh, user input all the things again. If the user is able to uh, satisfy this condition, I will do the else part. I simply do a break action, which means that I will leave this uh, whole while loop to do the rest of the uh, programming. Okay. Suppose the user is able to satisfy this condition by entering the correct number of uh, characters and then the correct number of uh, the other choices of the letters. I am going to um, set up a list for the uh, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, digits and symbols, so that when the computer has got these lists, it is able to pick up some uh, characters randomly from them. Okay, what does it mean by that? I want to save a list of um, characters uh, whose uh, ASCII values are uh, between 65 and um, 90, yeah, 90 only. How we can get the um, ASCII values? We can refer to the ASCII table. Okay, this is the ASCII table. When we want to um, create the um, uppercase letters, we need uh, the the ASCII values from um, 65 to um, 90. To represent the uh, uppercase letters. So when I want to set up a list of uh, uppercase letters, I have to use this um, approach. CHR means the uh, character corresponding to the um, ASCII value. And here I use um, this comprehension to make the um, program a bit shorter. So uppercase list will store capital A up to capital Z. Same for the lower case letters. But the numbers are a bit different. 197 because it is the beginning of um, small or letter A. For the digits, I can do something similar. Okay, uh, for the just I simply want to get a uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So I simply uh, put the numbers one by one in the digit list. Okay. For symbols, we have to look up the uh, ASCII table again. The first part of the symbols to be uh, contained in this symbol list will be having these uh, ASCII values 32 up to 47. Let us see why. 32 up to uh, 47 refers to the um, characters which are treated as symbols. So we can see that for the second part of the symbol list, we will have uh, ASCII values uh, 58 uh, up to uh, 64. So the second part will be like this. We uh, extend the list. We use 65 because it 
test the uh, value just after the um, symbol corresponding to uh, ASCII value 64. Okay. We have another part of the symbol, which is like this. Ninety one up to ninety seven. So we can check the ASCII table again. Ninety one up to uh, ninety six would be uh, symbols. Okay. We have one more part for the symbol. One, two, three, up to uh, one, two, six. Let us see. One, two, three, up to one, two, six. Okay. I don't want to include the delete uh, character. It will make the uh, password a bit confusing. So after we have set up these lists, we need to pick up some uh, characters randomly from these lists. In order to do that, we can uh, create a function. Uh, my idea is like this. I want to create a function called getChar, which means I want to get some characters from a given list. Yes, yeah, something like this. I want to use a function and when I call this function, I would pick up a number of characters from a given list. Okay, so how can I do this? We can define the function here. I create an empty list as the local variable for that function. And after I have uh, got the temporary list that stores the random uh, characters generated from the uh, char list, I will return the temp list as my uh, return value for the function. Okay, um, random cho dot choice here refers to the uh, random picking of the uh, characters from a given uh, character list. Okay, so uh, when I want to repeat the uh, pick action for three times, I will pick up uh, three letters from this character list, and for each of the uh, picked uh, letter, I will put it in the um, temp uh, list. Okay, so I will return this temp list, which stores the uh, characters picked from the random dot choice method. Okay, so I can do similar things with the uh, lowercase letters. Of course, I have to pick up the letters from the lowercase letter list. And the number of characters is, of course, num lower. Same principle for the uh, digits. And the same principle for the symbols. Okay, so um, the uh, characters are already picked up. 
And we have to remember that um, the sum of these four values might not be exactly equal to the number of characters. So there are some um, characters being unfilled. We have to handle the unfilled characters. So first I have to find out the number of these characters. I do a simple uh, subtraction to get the number of unfilled characters. When the um, program is too program code is too long, you can use a backslash to uh, cut it into two or more, even more lines. Then I can get uh, the uh, combined list of all the characters allowed for uh, setting up a password. So I will create a whole list, which is simply storing all the possible uh, characters. When we do uh, addition of lists, we will have uh, a combined list called whole list here. And we have to handle the uh, unfilled characters here. Remaining char means that we pick up um, the characters whose value, uh, whose number is this one from the whole list of uh, allowed characters. So we are able to fill up all the uh, unfilled um, characters. So the, the password will be like this. I simply add up, add up all the uh, uh, characters obtained randomly. Here I have to include the remaining char list. But uh, for this password uh, variable, the order of the um, letters will always be like this, upper, lower digit symbols, and remaining characters. So it is not that sensible to have a fixed order of the um, characters in a computer-generated password. How can we handle this situation? We can shuffle all the uh, characters in the password uh, variable, like this. We can use the random dot shuffle method to uh, rearrange the uh, letters contained in the password variable, so that uh, the password variable will not always follow this particular order of um, password settings. Okay. Okay, here um, I want to join uh, all the uh, password characters by means of the join method. Okay, here means um, an, an empty string, so I don't put any um, separator between an, uh, any two of the characters from my password variable. Finally, I can print out a password. So let us see how 
the whole program will work. Suppose I want to have a, a eight. I want a three. I want two. I want one. I want uh, four. Uh, the sum of these four values would be 10, which is larger than the number of characters. So in principle, I will need to re-enter all the things again. So let us see if it's the case or not. Yes, the character numbers do not match. So I have to make sure that the sum of these four values would be uh, smaller than or equal to the number of characters. I try again. Okay, it should work. 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 is simply equal to 6, which is uh, smaller than 8. So um, I still have two unfilled characters, which is found by um, uh, subtract uh, 10, uh, 6 from 8. So I will have two characters to be uh, filled by the um, remaining char part here. Okay, so let us check the uh, password generated. We have uh, two uh, digits, which is allowed because we have to have at least one digit. And uh, two um, uppercase letters. We have three uppercase letters because we have to get at least two lowercase letters uh, from the um, uh, password uh, settings and i have one symbol which is here so um two uppercase letters three lowercase letters two digits and one symbol we have altogether eight characters so this um password is allowed and we can see that the order of the um symbols don't always follow the password uh settings here because we have used the shuffle method and we can see the uh, shuffled result here. My method is a bit uh, intuitive and straightforward, but it may not be the best solution to the problem. If you can think about any improvement of my code, feel free to post your code uh, on the comment section below this video. If you liked this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you for, for watching.